Don't Fear the Spreadsheet, episode number 22, a really good story. Hey, this is Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. It's a Sunday podcast which allows me to go off topic and I have a great story for you today. Back in early July, their NPR did a series of stories on some artists named The Highwaymen. Jackie Lydon was the reporter and uh, there was a story about Al Black. You can go check it out online. Now Al Black was one of 26 artists known as The Highwaymen. From the 1960s through the 2000s, they painted possibly a hundred thousand paintings. Uh, they pretty much defined Florida landscape. They were sold all up and down the east coast of Florida from Miami up to Jacksonville. Uh, all 26 artists were in, inducted into the um, Florida Artist Hall of Fame in the early 2000s. And Jackie's story was about a fellow named Al Black. Al was the salesman for these fellows uh, and he became an artist himself. Now Jackie warned me it, it, in retrospect, listening to the story, she said, this is a great quote, Al Black can snatch your breath away and sell it back to you. Also in the story, another one of the artists, Marianne Carroll, the only female of the highwayman, I guess highway woman, um, said he would sell a mosquito, a jacket in the summertime. Now this next quote uh, is from my sister, Kay. She says, hey, Check out this this link, listen to this story. This guy sounds interesting. You should see if you can buy one of his paintings. And I was heading down to Florida because I knew I had this big stretch of writing books for Excel 2013. So I was going to spend a week down there, chill out. And on Sunday, July 8th, I took a ride down to Fort Pierce to see if I could find Al Black. Turns out every day Al Black gets up and in the backyard of his Fort Pierce house, he paints outdoors under this canvas tent. He paints four new paintings every single day. I pulled up in front of Al's place. He looked me over. I said, hey, are you the guy on NPR? He's like, come on back. Now, this guy is a great salesman. He starts out with, I don't have any paintings that I can sell you today. I said, well, what about those ones you're working on? Well, if you have time to wait, he says. So I sat down and so began an amazing afternoon listening to Al's stories uh, from the past 40 years and I watched him paint. Now at one point I said, you know, Al, I realize you're painting the Indian River and I enjoy kayaking in the Indian River. Have you ever, have you ever painted a kayak in one of your paintings? And he says, well, that is quite a coincidence. I was about to paint a kayak right here, he says. Although later on we learned that he didn't know what a kayak is, but he was certainly agreeable and do, willing to do anything to make a sale. So here's Al painting a kayak. Here's the detail of that kayak. And if you're a longtime fan of the podcast, uh, you've seen this kayak before. This is the kayak that I used during that stupid VLOOKUP week promo where the dolphin swam by. Do you remember that? How cool is this? Al Black, an artist in the Florida Artist Hall of Fame, painted my kayak into one of his paintings. Now, of course, the guy is the greatest salesman in the world, so this is the painting now uh, at the condo. But as time went by, Al kept trying to make the deal sweeter and trying to get me to spend more and more money. And so we talked about the early days. Originally, Al moved to Fort Pierce and he was a typewriter salesman typewriter. I said, that's wild. And I, I talked about, uh, you know, what I did that I wrote books and I had this brand new book called Don't Fear the Spreadsheet that's for people who are completely new to computers, people who have never used computers before. And Al, uh, kind of some of his bravado, he's like, I can sell that book. I can sell anything. And before you know it, Al Black had signed up as our new spokesman. I'm Al Black. I'm one of the original highwaymen artists. I used to work for Fort Pierce Typing Company. If you're still using a typewriter, try this book on computer by Mr. XL. Now Al finishes that promo and he looks at me and he says, I'm famous. Sales of this book, they're going to pop. And he was also probably thinking, God, this guy is a sucker. <laughs> I just sold him all these paintings in exchange for that little video. I had the afternoon of my life. 
So I want to send a shout out to Jackie Lydon for giving me the heads up about this story. Lots of books published about the highway movement. Gary Monroe has a book specifically about Al Black. Uh, and, and flipping through Gary's book, it's funny, uh, some of the lines that Al used on me are right from the book. Also, I found a, a painting in the book where he had painted a fellow in uh, fishing in his canoe. So I'm not the only uh, uh, boat uh, type painting, but it seems like Al was very happy uh, you know, to, to paint someone else in if necessary. Uh, what a great opportunity. If you're ever down in Florida and you have an opportunity to pick up one of the, these uh, paintings by the Highwaymen, what a great story and a just very memorable afternoon in the presence of this uh, uh, legendary artist, Al Black. I want to thank Al for his help. I'm sure he wants to thank me for walking away with more paintings than I ever intended to, uh, but it was a great day. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. This book makes Excel for Dummies look like it was written for rocket scientists. Or, as Al Black would say, if you're still using a typewriter, check out this book on computers from Mr. Excel.